Our coverage continues with a look at some of the other material released today. Also made public photos showing details that the video didn't pick up and an interview with Officer Yanez that was never played at trial. That interview was with Yanez and BCA investigators the day after the shooting. John Croman breaks down some of those other elements that came out today. Kind of distinct facial features with like a kind of like a wide set nose. That's Officer Euronimo Yanez telling the BCA he pulled over Philando Castile because he thought he looked like one of the men who robbed a Super USA store four days earlier, including one with a marijuana hat. As soon as I get up to the car, I'm hit with a odor of burning marijuana. Yanez says he was frightened by Castile's body language. Turned his shoulder, kept his left hand on the steering wheel, and then canted his upper body and blocked my view of his right hand. I, it just seemed like he was pulling out the gun and the barrel just kept coming out. It seemed like something was just coming out and I thought it was gun and I thought it was a barrel just coming out. It Prosecutors keyed in on the part about the barrel because Castile's pistol was still inside his shorts when he was pulled from the car. Another officer placed it on the pavement when it started sliding out. Jurors got to see images of Castile in life and in death, an autopsy showing where the five bullets hit him. They also saw where the other two rounds landed, one in the console and one through the driver's seat into the back seat. Also in the car, groceries Diamond Reynolds bought just before the stop and a bag of marijuana. And I thought he was going to shoot and kill me, and I thought he was going to shoot and kill my partner right after that. The judge never let the jurors hear that BCA interview, but on the witness stand, Officer Yana says that when he said he saw the barrel of the gun, he meant to say he saw the slide of the gun. Back to you. Thank you, John.